Hi guys and welcome back to Planning and Saving Faze Way. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the family. And if you're family and returning, welcome back. So I hope you guys have all been doing well. And like your girl always says, always be kind and be your own kind of beautiful. So in today's video, this is just a how many planners, how many notebooks, how many journals do you really need? Is like too much, too much? So this is just gonna be something short and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys how I try to stick to, you know, this is a new year, so I just wanna be on top of everything. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be on top of everything. I wanna write everything down because I don't wanna forget anything, miss anything, forget pay the bills, birthdays, whatever. So um, this one, this little sand disc I picked up somewhere for probably like a yard sale or something. And I use this for work. And I go in and take note like times of the day, the hours, from the time I get to work to the time I leave, I am taking notes in this. It fits perfect in my little uh, backpack that I carry around. Sometimes, um, since it's cooler now, I'm able to stick this inside my sweater pocket because, you know, working with children with behaviors, you know, and I'm always taking data. So I need to write down this and like, okay, what happened before this and what happened? What time was this and all of that? So, you know, this is nice to have. So the next one, this is a capital sheet notebook that I use, a little journal. It is so cute. And I use this for the word of the day. I use this for the word of the day and the monthly section has the word and when you flip through it, you'll go through and put the word and the day. Um, Miss Goji will use hers as a, uh, I think she said a Bible scripture for the day, which is a great, great idea. Especially if you love the Lord, give credit when credit is due. Amen. All right, so this is another one that came along on this pack. I don't know where the other one's at, but I might have gave it away. But um, this is really nice. I love these capital sheet books, like legit. So this is a um, list journal that I am starting to use. Make a list, check it twice and everything. Okay, so um, you got chores, just random just notes just anything that comes to mind like oh i gotta do this okay this bill is due today i need to do this today um my videos i need to do this video go to the next day same thing i need to do this i need to do this i need to do this get it done get it done make a list and check it twice so that's for that and this goes in my purse okay then we have this cute little journal that I'll just put a sticker on top. This came in a pack. Um, I don't happy planner. Yep, it's a happy planner. Lined dot grid, like dot lined. But I use this for um church. This is always in my bag and when I go to church or have um Bible study. You know, I'm always like taking notes. You understand? I'm always taking notes. Boop. Looking like a winner. There you have it. Always take notes. Okay. Miss Goji, how you feel about that? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Love the Lord, boop. Okay. So this one is a journal that I use for, this is personal. So I just go in and I just like, you know, I just jot like random stuff down. Uh-oh. Y'all, this is a referral. This is a referral to get a root canal. Anybody ever had a root canal done? Oh my God. I'm having to, the doctor recommended a root canal, so I don't even know. But I do use this. This is my journal and I'm writing in it every single day. It's the first time ever in my life that I've kept like a personal journal slash diary or anything like that. This also goes inside my purse. And then there's this one, which is really cute. 
It has like a magnetic strip in here and it keeps it closed. It's cute. I think I got this from like the dollar store or something. And this is what I use to do my cash breakdowns for my um, sinking funds. I go in and count my money and say, okay, I'm going to start at this amount and then I'm going to slowly go down. Okay, I know I want to put 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so subtract that and this one we've got left and that's how I figure out what I want to stuff. So that book, this is only used for that. And it's so cute. Like, I love like little journals and stuff. I just cannot. And then this one I use for a weekly just kind of like brain dump thing. You know, just everything in there is like personal, like how my day went. This is like an all day type calendar whereas the other one is for like a personal personal thing like legit so i'm gonna come back in a couple of videos and we are going to um handle that do a little decorative planet inside of that all right so then we get to the binders the little binders i'm getting questions about these binder sizes so this binder here is a six this is a five that's a, a the big ones are a six these are a five and then the smaller ones are a four so this is a a I have six six this is a six and this binder houses um i call her mermaid because she's iridescent and she's so pretty i caught my phone freeze y'all i caught it and we have savings challenges in here we have um no these are sinking funds this we have a sinking fund for savings uh jm medical moors uh what's this one investments emergency bills school breaks and this is depth snowball Christmas and my ring doorbell subscription. This binder here houses my weekly cash envelopes that I use throughout the week to purchase items that I've budgeted for. Gas, eating out, so, so y'all can see. Eating out, Miss Vey, family, giving duncan beauty tithe and here's another little notebook guys <laughs> that i keep inside of there and this just tracks helps me track my expenses for the week i just put my cash envelope there and then i write down my expenses and i also write them on a sticky note so i'm like writing the same thing five times and it does not bother me one bit so this one the pink pink binder which is the a5 no this is a eight yeah five six four four what yeah i don't even know six and maybe that's five Maybe this is a six and this is a five. And then a smaller one is a four. Four, five, six. Okay. Or six, five, four. This could be a six. That could be a five. I don't know. Come on, guys. Figure it out. Jeez. I need to get it together. Next one. This has um the savings challenges inside. And I am participating in the $1,000 emergency fund challenge. The 52-week challenge the furniture fund uh any day challenge family vacay challenge um color by numbers make sure to check that video out guys about these savings challenges um butterfly savings tracker what is this rainy day fly into savings and i'm also doing the 50 envelope challenge and last but not least, uh, my black beauty. Be your own kind of beautiful. But see, I added my part in there. Be kind. Always be kind. That's the difference. And these are more sinking funds. 
We have uh, my son's college graduation, um, future home, future schooling for me, car maintenance, retirement, studio, uh, travel, gifts, and tags and registration for my cars, guys. So we always have to save and we always have to write down you know, write down, just write it down. Always remember to write it down. If all else fails, write it down, guys. Please write it down, okay? So this is going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my journals, planners, whatever it is, everything that I share with you guys. So... Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to your girl's channel, guys, okay? I enjoy chatting with you guys in the comments, and the subscriber count is going up, which means I'm gaining family members. Woo! Let's do like a little noise. Woo! All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.